what's going on youtube welcome to the channel thanks for checking out the channel and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button you guys we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by my birthday which is next month less than a month guys it's absolutely free to do so yeah you guys i just wanted to do this video it would have been nice to get them pulled up side by side but hopefully uh i'm finished coming up here to you know worry about this truck so finally i think we're got we're good to go they had to install a upper new strut here which included that coil spring so they had to replace the whole shock for my trd uh fox suspension so that's why i was up here today but they've had this other truck up here so this is the 2023 the last v6 on the pro the special hero color so how it works for toyota is the next year they'll put the special color on the off-road and on, on the sport so here's a 2024 trd sport which is fully loaded guys now this truck retails for around fifty two thousand dollars and apparently the owners of this new truck put on basically all the aftermarket accessories so like they're going to do the trd lift kit just every option that they have they're going to put on this truck so it's i heard it's close to like twenty thousand dollars worth of options but it's already fully loaded so we'll kind of just look at them so with the sport you're not going to have the color matching or you will have the color matching fender flares whereas with the pro and on the off-road you're going to have a black this color here so i just kind of wanted to look at the oranges and see they're pretty much the same but um i definitely have considered getting a sport but i just like the the black accents but with this truck here you get a lot of black accents with that whole front grille and we'll kind of look at the camera here so the camera's underneath the toyota symbol here and on my truck it's it's above the toyota heritage and here's the hood scoop a little bit different on the hood scoops now which this would look nice too if you black this out if you went with like a black wrap maybe on that to give you a little bit of more color kind of like how they have on the pro but yeah this one's going to have a sunroof it's going to have a rear sliding window completely fully loaded and with this one you're going to get the heated seats and you're going to get the heated steering wheel and i believe these are going to be on 18 inch wheels now so they went up 265 65 18. now they went up on the previous generation they were 17 inch wheels so you also get a power lifting tailgate here so it opens up and closes automatically with just the push of a button either on this side or the other side or you can do it from your fob or you can actually do it from inside the truck so i definitely like the ventilated seats on this one you get heated seats on this one, but you don't get the heated steering wheel or the ventilated uh, seats. But you do get the Pro in the headlights here. Pro on this side here, and then you get the Rigid Industry fog lights, which Toyota still uses on the Pro, and they also use it on this Land Cruiser here that's getting serviced. Getting some detail work done to it. And I'll show you guys my tire size video won't be too long because we've done similar ones so i got 265 75 16 and like i said they had to do a wheel alignment on these after messing with that front strut so hopefully it's all taken care of i was hearing to start off i was hearing like a, a squeaky noise and then i started hearing like a clank noise right after they got done doing the work and i'm not sure if that was just because you know the shocks had to get you know kind of had to seat itself maybe possibly and it was just some little clicking that I was hearing before everything got situated. I'm not hearing it anymore. So not hearing any clicking or any squishy, squeaky noises. And you get the Fox suspension with this one all the way around. And it's the Pro, so you get the skid plate and you get the TRD leather seats that say TRD Pro stitched. And with this one, you are gonna get the Tacoma here. But this is gonna be the turbocharged four cylinder, which you're gonna get 278 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque. So you're gonna get 50 more pound feet of torque with this truck. And you're gonna get not the 50 pound feet of torque, but you're gonna get the V6, the naturally aspirated V6. So this is a great, beautiful truck, and I am definitely gonna to try to hold on to it. Gonna to try to see if I can eventually get one of these uh 2024s but by the time i get one it could be 2025 and i honestly think if i do decide to get rid of this truck it's pretty much going to have to be for another pro maybe a trail hunter i'm considering 
but I really would like to maybe keep this truck for a long time and you know, get it lifted up, you know, do the Westcott lift. I want to put 285s on here and I want to do different wheels and tires and just take my stock uh, TRD Pro wheels and just put them, clean them up, put them in the garage, put them on display. But it's just a beautiful truck. The, this truck is nice. Like I say, I always come up here and I'm always looking at fourth generation Tacomas. So when you see them all day, you really like them, you know, and I don't own one of these. So you just want to take one home and it's the newest one. But then I come out and see my truck sometimes, how it's, how the stance on it is. And like, I've only gone up a half a size. So the stock size is 265, 65, 16. And I've gone to 265, 75, 16. But I really like the black accents and I love the color. Solar Octane is my, my favorite color on this Tacoma. I think it looks great. The next color will be Lunar Rock or Cement and then, you know, Army Army Green. And now on the 24s, I like Solar Octane. We don't see this color a lot. We were seeing it at first a lot. And I think people really like this color. So they were picking them up and they were hard to get. And I haven't really been seeing a lot of them at other dealerships. So they've got one here. And this one has been on the channel for a couple of days because of, as I mentioned, the owner is adding a bunch of stuff over here. Let's just go see if they still got the stock exhaust. I'm not sure what they have done. They should be blacking out the back of this, I'm assuming. See, they still got the stock exhaust on here. So you can do the TRD tuned exhaust on these things, which sounds really good. And this is that turbocharged four cylinder. Give you a shot of that roof. And you're also gonna get the big 14 inch screen don't let me forget that, the big 14 inch screen and you're gonna get the flex portable speaker. And you're also gonna get a passenger power seat, which even in 2023, I'll just take you guys inside of here because that truck is locked. Even in 2023, no power on the passenger side. And you're also, you see my cords plugged in right there. So no wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And also it doesn't say like TRD Pro other than, and you're gonna get the heated heated seats, no heated steering wheel. And you're gonna get TRD Pro up here and you get the red stitching. And on the new Pro, you're gonna either get red or you're gonna get black camel on the seats. And that ventilated, ventilated seats and heated seats and the heated steering wheel. I wish I would have had a heated steering wheel. That would have been nice. Ventilated seats would have also been nice. So I definitely like those upgrades. And I like the wireless um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And the 360 camera on this one is a lot better, to be honest, it's a lot better. They've even repositioned these cameras here. So that a little bit different angle than they are on my truck. And then you also have this camera that allows you to see in the back of the bed. And then you have that rear view mirror camera, basically. So if there's people in the back, of your truck it'll just show you what's directly behind you so you have like a camera that's looking from your rear view mirror from those lights right there pretty sure it uses those uh cameras up there that allows you to see in the back of the bed as far as i know that's the camera that it's using so you have that rear view mirror camera if people are inside your truck so you can't see um behind you so you can see see that way that's really nice and you get the new led headlights and i do like how the fog lights are set up on this truck so the front end is really similar to this front end with the blacked out everything that you get and you can people have been ordering like the knockoff trail hunter grills so they actually have the toyota heritage here and i'm not sure if it comes with the light bar or what and you also get these vents here which I really like. If you got aggressive uh, tires, that looks nice. And this is the sport. So you get no rear locker and no crawl control. And you get the air dam that comes off. I have heard people saying that if you take it off, you could hear some wind noise, but haven't heard anything lately on that. Hybrid should be showing up here. So the hybrid, you're gonna get 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. So I have driven the new Land Cruiser, which does have the same exact uh, powertrain. It has the, the eight-speed automatic transmission, and it's also gonna have the same hybrid motor, the, the four-cylinder the four turbocharged motor. I think that's a 4.2 four-cylinder turbocharged, and this has the last naturally aspirated V6. 
So a lot of people love the V6 and prices are going up on these. So which one do you guys prefer, the third generation or fourth generation? I think if I get one in 2025, you know, it's been one year for them to work out some things, work out some bugs. So I think I might be good by then, but I would definitely like to hold onto this truck because I really think this is a special truck, the 2023 being the last uh, hero color for the Pro and being the Solar Octane. So the only way you could get Solar Octane on a third generation Tacoma was on a Pro. Unlike the fourth generation, you can get it on a TRD off-road or Sport. But uh, that's going to do it, guys. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. And once again, we are at Toyota Gladstone out here in Oregon City, Oregon. So make sure you tell them Lil Kenny sent you. Hit the subscribe button, you guys. It's absolutely free. I appreciate all the love and support. So tell me what you guys think of the fully loaded Sport or the TRD Pro. And like I said, this one retails for around $52,000 without any discounts. I know some dealerships are offering $3,000, $2,000 off. Um, I've seen $5,000 off of an SR5. So you can get $5,000 off at this dealership, basically on an SR5, possibly even with the cold weather package. So I would definitely recommend you get a few thousand dollars off of these new vehicles because they are not cheap and interest rates are still high. So yeah, $52,000 plus for this one right here. Thanks a lot, guys. You have a good day and God bless. We out. Peace. Thanks for checking out the channel. Have a great weekend.